we're doing a little demonstration on the vacuum forming process or thermal forming process. And what we are, the process we're doing today is is a very, uh, it's a prototype stage. It's, it's very, uh, Oh, simplistic, actually, much different than they would do in a production process. This tool here is built to maybe produce 100 to 200 parts. We've already produced probably 50 parts off of it, and I'm confident that we could get another 50 to 100 parts off of it. In production, it would be of an aluminum construction, and it would be a, it would have water lines in it, and so that they could cool the part down quicker. It would be a much more uh, sophisticated process than what we're doing. So we're gonna clamp that piece of plastic in place and make a part. Okay, our piece of plastic is clamped in place now. What we're using is an ABS substrate with a laminated film on top of it, been laminated to it. Uh, this set, for this application, we're going to be running two different colors, this gold material and a simulated carbon fiber material. We will, this, this whole system here, this model is plumbed into a, what we would call a, a vacuum pump and vacuum chamber. So in a minute here, we're going to turn on the vacuum pump, evacuate this chamber so that we can we can create a vacuum that we will open up once our material is heated, allowing the atmospheric pressure in the air to form the part onto the model. So let's get this under the oven and get that process rolling. Okay, I've recruited my main man, Nick, to give me a hand with this because it's too hard to videotape and run the part at the same time. So we're going to turn on our vacuum pump. We're holding pretty good vacuum from our last part, so we're going to go ahead and put the part under the oven while that continues to evacuate the vacuum chamber. So Nick's going to, going to slide the frame in. up under the oven. He's going to turn on the oven. And he's going to pick up the thermometer. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this temperature up to about 280 degrees. This is a process that's going to take, oh, probably about two minutes. So we're going to Give it a minute or so here before we even become concerned with checking temperature. Um, right now that seems only at 100 degrees, if that. Uh, we could heat that sheet up to 500 degrees to where it fell apart if we wanted to. But what we're going to do here is we're going to check it. We, we found that 280 degrees to 285 is just about perfect for this application. Once that sheet becomes molten enough to reach that 280 degree temperature, we're going to drop it down onto this form. We're going to evacuate the system, and the atmospheric pressure is going to force that material down onto that form. So what reading are we at right now, Nick? 134. 134. Part, you get a pretty good idea. You don't even need the thermometer. You can tell when the material starts to sag. ABS is such a user-friendly material that your range is within, oh, 275, 290 degrees. But with this laminated material, we like to keep it a little more precise. I don't want to boil the top of that sheet because of that laminate that's on this ABS sheet. So we've, we've found that 280 degrees is the optimum temperature for this application. What are we at, Nick? 182. 182. Right up 
corner there. We're at 216 degrees right now. This is the point where it heats up pretty quick. This is uh, not the ideal summer job. This is a really great job in the winter when it's about 20 degrees outside. We enjoy this. In the summertime, this isn't one of our favorite jobs. This is not the job I would want to have in a production atmosphere. Although in a production atmosphere, this tool would be constructed of a cast aluminum design with water lines to it for cooling purposes. And the whole process would be much, would probably be on either an inline system or a turntable system where the sheet would be, one sheet would be heating up while another sheet was forming, while another sheet was cooling. There'd be multiple tools in the line. What temperature are we at there, Nick? 260. 260. We're getting pretty close. Had to step back there. It was getting a little warm. We'll let Nick get up there and get that temperature. What are you at, buddy? 274. 274? What are you at now? You're ready. Okay, so now Nick is going to lower the frame. Bring the table out on this one, Nick. All the way out. Bring it. All the way out. Okay, hit it with the vacuum. Very good. Fans on. Very good. Now what we're going to do... Thanks, buddy. Okay, our parts and forms. The cooling fans on. What we want to do now is we want to cool that down to about 160 degrees. The reason for that is we we pull it up too too early. We pull it up now. We're at 206 degrees. The part will distort. If we wait too long, the shrinkage. Right now, this part is shrinking. It's beginning beginning to shrink. And and as it cools down, it'll shrink even faster. So we found that about 160 degrees is a happy medium on this application to demold this part. Right now we're at 184. We got the fans on it. vacuum forming work. 